If you're feeling that tingle, your FanDuel account might jingle. Just remember yeah. that. So that's the big one. That's the big one. That's going to be the first T-shirt. <laughs> Got to be ready. <laughs> Got to be ready for the tingle. Got to be ready for the tingle. Got to be ready when you tingle, man. Good things happen. So. Just trying to move on. Leave it at that, man. I'm trying to keep it going. Anybody yeah. who's had to listen to their pop talk about tingling knows. <laughs> What's going on, man? Son. Back at it again. Got some good stuff to talk about today. Got- Roster wise, you know, I know he said we want to do top three uh, priorities for Quinn and Peters here to, to kind of move on to our next segment. I, I think he highlighted uh, edge and the need for edge talent. I think that's going to be something that we've already kind of looked at. Like, okay, there's a pretty good free agent class at edge. Um, so I think that might be like, if we're looking for a big splash signing, I think that might be somewhere to keep an eye out on like the big star that we signed. Yeah, like Edge, I agree Burns. with you. I think Edge has got to be in that top three, three you know, pass rusher. Yeah. Has Edge, to be in Edge for three. sure. And if you take, you know, we have some good young talent at Edge, unproven young talent that has flashed in moments like a KJ Henry or like Andre Jones, right? Um, but Do you want, let me ask of, you a question. Do you want to go into next year, uh, you know, with Sam Howell as your quarterback? No. I think it's the no. same thing with those young edge guys. Well, that's what I was just <laughs> – Later that's, round that's, picks, I, I just don't think you can – let them flash, let them be backups, let them maybe surprise you and become star players, but I don't think we can bank on that going into next yeah. year. Quite literally took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, son. Was, that's where I was going with that sentence. He threw me a serious curveball throwing Sammy in there. But, uh, uh, yeah, I was going to say I think that's enough to be excited about that we go get one elite edge rusher like a Brian Burns yeah. and we pair him with and we see, okay, can K.J. Henry flash on the other side of the line or can – uh, yeah. a guy like Andre Jones, or even, you know, I mean, some of those depth pieces that we've had, like the FA Obadas of the world and the James Smith Williams have been solid. It's just not enough to do it all on their own. So that, that much we've got to fill on the edge. Uh, also, uh, you got to address offensive tackle. That's, totally that's agree. critical. I think, I think offensive tackle is critical. I think the interior of the line is passable if we can get a better – a better tackle. I think you have Cosme has really come into his own. I wouldn't mind moving Wiley into guard, seeing how that goes, and then getting a elite tackle on either side. I don't know what's available in terms of free agency or the draft, but upgrading there and then maybe you gotta have a plan Cornelius for the line, Lucas or general. something like that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Exactly. Tackle's that, the biggest weakness, but <clears throat> we just gotta have an O line plan. Center is an issue too. We can't yeah. roll with Tyler Larson. Uh, Nick Gates is not an option. Um, and I mean, Stromberg is a guard. So maybe know. it's a mess. It's a mess. It's Everybody a on the offensive line, other than Sam Cosby, is kind of a disaster. Um, and then, um, I guess my third position. I mean, obviously quarterback. I, I don't know how you yeah, yeah. don't mention that. It's almost like a cheap one. I would take out quarterback. But you got to figure would, that out. Yeah, you got to figure that out, and I would say you got to figure out the the linebacker, the the middle linebacker, and I think that will be a that will be. So a would you go linebacker over well. secondary? I kind of feel like. Yeah, I think you have talent in the secondary that's misused. I think Quan Martin will be okay. I think if you could bring back Kendall Fuller, he'll be all right. I think we missed Mo- Derek Forrest was out for most of last year with injury concerns. I think he's a guy if you want to see somebody take a giant step from Dan Quinn. Derek Forrest might be that guy. Maybe you bring back Cam Curl. I think with what we have in the secondary, we've seen them be really good when they had a real coach, and then you went and you got a high school football coach to coach them, and they fell apart last year. So I'm willing to write off the secondary as maybe a flukish year last year, and I think we can do okay with what we have there if some guys take step forwards. Yeah, and, I, you know, and, and this is going to be a, a much longer debate, and, and um, so let's keep this quick. But I got into the conversation – with um, our good friend Ken 
you know, while we were going to the Terp game last night, which I don't want to talk about. Um, and, you know, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, we just talked about the idea of should we, you know, should we really pick a quarterback or do we trade back and roll with Sam? I think you just have to take the quarterback, right? I mean, I think yeah. we agree on that. You've got to address that, that position. You've got to go with it. I don't think Cliff Kingsbury comes here. The biggest tell that they're going to draft a quarterback is the fact that Kingsbury came here instead of the Raiders. I know there was yeah. some contractual stuff, but I don't think you get him here without the allure of picking a quarterback with that second pick if they don't trade up. I think that, that that's just going to happen. I think that's a lock, in my opinion. I'd go 100 yeah. chips in, you know, to quote JP on that one, personally. Yeah, I don't think we're going to pick a quarterback. I think the lowest we're going to draft a quarterback this year is pick number two, in my opinion. I think we're either going to go at two or we're going to trade up. And that's, like you said, the quarterback conversation we're not even going to touch today. And I agree uh, with it, right? Like, I, I think we both agree. To. That's the right move. And we can get into more of the reasons why in, in a later pod, but I think we need to yeah. get on to the LV triple. Especially with the talent. Toothpicks. With the talent there right now, if it, if yeah. this was a Kenny Pickett year, I understand maybe you trade back, right? But yeah. with what's available right now, it's not going to get much better than this, and it's not projecting to be particularly great quarterback draft classes. There are three guys oh, there Lord. that Sorry. arguably could be the number one pick in a draft that didn't have Kayla Williams, right? Like, yeah, any one of those three guys could legitimately be a number one pick in the draft on a different year. So yeah. I think I think in that situation you're sitting at the number two pick, you're you're in pretty good shape. You, you know, obviously you just gotta try to guess right on who that right guy to go with and we got plenty of time to talk about that. Indeed. Anyways, let's wrap this thing up guys without further ado. I've been done. This is Pop.